Welcome dear children. Today we will be doing the second chapter of English literature which is a poem The Picture Books in Winter written by Robert Louis Stevenson. Robert Louis Stevenson was born in the year 1850 and he died in 1894. He was a Scottish poet a novelist and a travel writer among his famous novels are treasure island and kidnapped this poem describes the lovely feeling of sitting by the fire looking at picture books and dreaming of far off places on very cold days if we look at the first stanza it says summer fading winter comes frosty mornings tingling thumbs window robins winter rooks and the picture story books the poet here is bidding farewell to summer and he is welcoming winter accompanied by frosty mornings and tingling thumbs and birds like robins and rooks while he enjoys reading his story book The second stanza says water now is turned to stone nurse and i can walk upon still we find the flowing brooks in the picture story books the poet is telling that the water has turned to stone and his nurse and himself could walk on it but in the story books he says that he sees the pictures of the flowing brooks The third stanza is all the pretty things put by wait upon the children's eye sheep and shepherds trees and crooks in the picture story books in the story book all kinds of pretty pictures could be seen pictures of the sheep the shepherd and his crook these pictures help him to dream of far off places on very cold days we may see how all things are seas and cities near and far and the flying fairies looks in the picture story books so the poet says that in the story books one can see the pictures of the seas and the cities of the flying fairies and all the things that are near and far away from us the last stanza says How am I to sing your praise happy chimney corner days sitting safe in nursery nooks reading picture story books so we find that the poet is sitting near a fireplace and he is enjoying reading the story books on these winter days and he feels safe sitting in the corner by a fire Hope you all enjoyed the poem. Thank you so much.